Okay, okay. Do, okay. It, do it, do it, do it. Do, 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 read, read, do it. Do it, the voice. In a world where I could be... No, you gotta do the voice. Do the voice. Do the voice. I don't do the honest trailer voice. I just write for them. Just do no, the voice. Come you can on. Totally don't be do modest. The voice. Only one man can okay, save oh, the world wow. from the uprising against not, Christian Arlov nope, and nope, Tiffany nope, Smith not the voice. from Suck. Okay, let's just start the show. Well, we're excited to have you because you are basically the man behind Screen Junkies, the YouTube channel, which obviously means that you love movies. But I do love what movies. What is it in particular about movies that you love so much? Uh, I just love watching them. Is that a boring answer? <laughs> no. They're just so no. fun to get lost it's an in. Honest answer. Yeah. Everything that you're doing now on the Screen Junkies channel, you got the Screen Junkies main show. You have movie fights, honest trailers. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to take all the credit. I have an amazing team. So many people. I don't. I don't even know how to list them all. But Dan Spencer, John Bailey, our voice. So many people have been helping us, and we've just released Screen Junkies Plus, which is our chance to do premium content. And I'm so happy we just announced we actually got Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes wow. to do a show exclusively with us online. That's amazing. Called What's in the Box, where they're gonna each week open a bizarre toy and I brought a bizarre toy for you if you want to see <gasps> it. Yes, yes, definitely. Can't open it because I'm gonna make them open it. So oh, man. But this is a real toy, guys. Do you know what, what this is? What? Yes, those are the del are those deleted characters from Oh no. Oh wait, this is Lucas's what? family. This is George Lucas. Lucas? No! George his Lucas created is... a character <gasps> of himself and put his kids in. I can't bust his balls for this though because this? Like, Well, they... of course you I would make that too, but would you sell it to the public? Like, I didn't create Star Wars though, so I don't I can't answer that question. <laughs> you could co like create figures of you and your family? I'd totally do that. Andy, let's What's talk that? about the weekly wager. Oh, I know, I watch. Yeah. You do. Okay. So wait, if you Thanks guys Thanks for assuming I don't, guys. I don't know. I know you bet. Nine million and Tiffany bet 7.5 million on the 33. Yes. I have the results right here. I'm feeling confident. I'm not gonna lie this week. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, There's another envelope what? in there! It's a, two envelopes later. Three envelopes later. Oh, They're playing Who a joke this? on me. That's real funny. Who did this? Oh, this the people is. at home are just laughing. Here we go. Here we go. The actual box office for the 33 was 5.8 million. That means you lose! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that what you guys do here? This is my favorite guest ever. <laughs> we did have a loser should punishment this week from Nash Greer, one of the stars of The Outfield. So let's take a look and see what he's saying that you have to do. Right. Check it out. This week's punishment comes from YouTube viewer King Gamer 18 and he thinks the loser should prank call a slave. But I think you should just go check out The Outfield right now on iTunes, so yeah. Vine stars, this is a thing, people. I'm gonna call Owen Wilson. You're friends with Owen Wilson. Yes, watch. What well, Owen, how are you, man? How's it going? I gotta tell you something really random and weird. Okay, all right, go for it. Owen, how would you find a rat hole? How would I find a rat hole? Wow, that's a tough question. I don't believe this! <laughs> what Pixar movie were you in? <laughs> tell me right now! So many, I can't think. <laughs> You were only in two! Hey, Jamie, I'll call you later. Thanks for bailing me out! It was Jamie! That was Jamie Costa, the great Jamie Costa. Mr. Wilson, how would you play James Bond? I would just have a lot of wow factor in there. Ben Stiller, you gotta cast him. Let's move on to this week's Weekly Wager. We're gonna bet on Mockingjay Part 2. Ooh. It's coming out this weekend. I'm gonna go with 98 million. Eight what did the last one make? 122. Yeah, opening weekend. I would say... You're crazy. You want to go that low? It's very final. I don't care what you guys think about my weekly wager because I got the entire cast of Mockingjay to say that they stand with Team Tiffany. Are you Team Tiffany or Team Christian? Team Tiffany. Tiffany. Wait, what? <laughs> Definitely losing. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and say 103 million. Before we get to the loser should though, I want to know what you would have guessed, Andy. 115. Wow. You're going to go, okay. Yes. All right, you guys. Well, put your punishments in the comments below, on Facebook, on Twitter, using the hashtag LoserShould, and let us know some awful, terrible thing that we have to do. Oh, God. This is violent, this show. Today's topic. Ah! Wow. wow, you guys have amazing graphics. Yeah. Really good talent. talent. We have a really, really good team. So we're just talking about Hunger Games with Mockingjay Part 2 coming out. I would say that I think the Hunger Games series is one of the best book-to-film adaptations, most well-received by fans, like since Harry Potter. Why do you guys think some of them work so well and some don't necessarily hit, like Divergent or Maze Runner? Those ones didn't do quite as well. I don't know how many book adaptations to movies I actually do like. Uh, it's a trend that I wish we'd come up with more original materials and constantly exploiting everything else. You can't be completely faithful to a three, 400-page book but you can get the essence of it. Yeah. Other movies that come out that fail 
just try to capitalize, and that's why they don't do well. Well, and the splitting has to stop too. These when they take the two movies and, and be, out of one yeah. book, right. it's enough. For me, obviously, my best book to film adaptation would have to be Lord of the Rings. Huge fan. Yeah. Loved what they did. The Shawshank Redemption. Ever read that story? Not nearly as good as the book. As the movie. It's a movie, right? And that's a, that's a, that's a rare short story. Right. Stephen King short story. Yeah. Right. It's good, but man, they found a lot to mine. What movies that are going to be book to movies mm -hmm. that's coming out in 2016? What movies are you guys really looking forward to? Jungle Book. Oh, it's oh, a good man. one. Definitely. That one's surprising me. The footage looks amazing. I really do think John Favreau is going to reboot sort of mm -hmm. the live action Disney phenomenon like he did Marvel. Can I say comic book? Deadpool. Because for me, Deadpool is one that is, a, it's, it's a risk because they're making a rated R Marvel movie. Now they've done it before now, obviously with Blade. And they just did a rated R comic book adaptation with Kingsman. But Deadpool is a beloved character in the comic book world. So I'm really excited to see what this version is gonna look like. Clearly we all know a lot about books translated to films. This is a fun game, but I have an even more fun game where we're gonna talk about books translated to movies called Tag It. Are you oh, ready cool. for it? Oh, cool. Tag It! <laughs> okay, so the game is called Tag It. Mm -hmm. And since we've been talking about books to film translations, all of these titles and films are gonna be books that were translated to films, okay? Right. So whoever buzzes first, and gets it correct, gets a point. I feel like you guys need to shake on this. You ever watch his show? He's, he's very good. Oh, <laughs> Wowzers. To enter the mind of a killer, she must challenge the mind of a madman. Science of Lambs. That is correct. <laughs> All right. A chilling blend of American graffiti and psycho. It came out in 1976, and the hint is blood. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. I don't know. Carrie. That's right! Oh, come on. <laughs> The quote is, if he's crazy, what does that make you? This came out in 1975, and the hint is, Jack. Shiny. Incorrect. <gasps> One flew over the cougar's nest. That is correct. Yes! Here's the tag, the year, and the hint. Man has made his match. Now it's his problem. 1982, Harrison. Blade Runner. Whoa, all right, we've got a tie. This is the tiebreaker. For anyone who's ever been set up, stood up, or felt up. 2001, and the hint is Renee. Okay, what is it? Bridget Jones Diary. That is correct! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, since you won game time today, that means that you get to spin the winner's wheel of the winning. winner's wheel! Yes! Oh, yes! Okay, yep, yep. What'd we get? Yeah! Well done, nice job. No, there was a thing up there. It's just these two are bickering all day and just using the whip on randoms. He's not coming back because well, he's scared. Well, I scared off Christian with my whip. No! Remember that show I talked about earlier with yes, Kevin Smith? Yes, I do. Want to see a clip? Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, there you go, man. I've had booger. I've had grass. Yeah, but I've I had, had vomit, which trumps them all. I don't know, rotten eggs, bro? Is this what kids do? That's probably rot That's probably like fart. Fart buster. Just watch the clip. You guys have a sword? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, end it, end it. End the show now. All right, well, I feel very safe now that the whip is out of Andy's hands, but if you guys want to follow any of his crazy antics, make sure you head over to Twitter and follow Andy Signor. Where Thanks for having me, find? guys. Yeah, they can find more about Screen Doggies Plus on uh, ScreenDoggies.com and on iOS and Android. You can download our new Screen Doggies app. So check out Screen Doggies Plus. And yeah. make sure you catch up on our show here. And then download the Movie Clips Fandango app on your smartphone. And join us next week on Movie, Movie Threesome! Movie Threesome! No. Why oh, didn't no. you tell me sooner? You're supposed to say it with us, ready? Also, okay. where are all the ready? things you're pointing ready? at? Oh, okay, I Movie forget. Threesome! Oh, just for Fade the Black. Oh, it's over. When does the real threesome happen?